Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we begin, just a quick reminder to leave a like down below and hit that subscribe button. This will help me continue to bring valuable content to awesome viewers like you. So many of you may have seen my last video on how to record Ableton Live inside of OBS. In that video, I used a plugin called Restream along with a dummy driver. And for many, including myself, this approach actually worked really well. But long story short, my audio interface died and I ended up purchasing a new one. The new interface I settled on actually came with a really awesome new feature. And that feature is called Loopback. So before I move much farther, I want to just say that the interface that I did purchase was the Focusrite Scarlett 18i8 third generation. Now, if I'm not mistaken, all the third generation Scarlets have the loopback feature built in, but I would double check whenever you were making your purchase just to be sure. So what is loopback and why does it matter? Well, I'm not gonna go into deep detail, but in a nutshell, it takes the output audio and loops it back in the form of a stereo input. So there was a way to record outside sources like um, Skype or Zoom into Ableton using loopback. But what I'm actually focused on in this video is getting audio from Ableton to an outside source like OBS. So that's what we're going to focus on. So in order to achieve this, the first thing you want to do is get your Focusrite unit plugged in and software installed. And after that, you'll want to make sure that your Ableton audio preferences are changed to where they are using the Focusrite USB ASIO. The next thing we're going to do is hop over to our Focusrite control app, and I'm going to go over my output routing really fast. So for monitor outputs one and two, I used custom mix. And then coming down here, we are using outputs one and two for a stereo playback. Now coming down to headphone one, I actually muted the input so that way I could monitor my voice through Ableton instead of through my interface. Now I'm currently not using headphone two and I'm currently not using these SPDIF outputs. But what we're really mainly concerned about is this loop back right here. The setting I currently have it set to is playback one and two. And apparently for most setups, this is going to be the setting that you will want to use. Now, before we go any further, I just want to clarify that I am on a Windows machine. If you guys are on a Mac, then things may be ever so slightly different, but I'm sure you could still get it to work. So the next step is to come down here to this little up arrow and it will show some icons for different programs. This one right here is for Focusrite. And what we actually need to do is right click this, click expose slash hide windows channels. We will get a pop-up box and we want to make sure that we check mark on loop back left and right. Then we click okay. If you don't turn on that checkbox, then Windows will actually hide this option even inside of OBS. So whenever you go to add the new input, it literally won't show up as an option inside of OBS unless you do that. Finally, we're gonna open up OBS. We are going to click this little plus button on sources. Then we are going to click audio input capture. Just name it something like DAW. And then we want to change the device to be the loopback. One last thing before I go, you could record your microphone directly into OBS, but I actually do it through Ableton because I found that when you are monitoring through OBS, the lag can be pretty darn annoying. Alrighty guys, I wanna thank everybody for watching and if you found this video useful, please consider sharing or subscribing.